Moving on to our other big story tonight, 15. That's how many members of a violent gang responsible for more than a total of 40 murders and attempted murders are now in custody, arrested by federal prosecutors. At least one of the suspects is no stranger to law enforcement. He was forced or charged, rather, in the attempted murder of an off-duty sergeant, Isaac Carrington. Avager Burnett has much more on this street gang known as Triple C. Officials are saying this gang terrorized some East Baltimore neighborhoods. They're also saying some of the suspects may be connected to 18 murders and 27 attempted murders. And even after some of the members were locked up, they still had a reach from behind bars. Good morning. Federal prosecutors announced an 11 count indictment Thursday against 15 alleged gang members who've been accused of a slew of crimes connected to a drug dealing operation in East Baltimore. Prosecutors say the charges against the suspects include 18 murders and 27 attempted murders. This business was built on violence, murders, and shootings of rival gang members and drug dealers. The gang is known as Triple C. Investigators say it was founded as an alternative to the Black Gorilla family gang. And according to the indictment, members routinely use social media websites to enhance the gang's status and identify and locate victims. And even when some members were locked up, prosecutors say they used jailhouse telephones to publicize the identities of persons believed to be cooperating with law enforcement to order assaults and murders of enemies of the enterprise. Some of the suspects have a history with police, including Rashad Nesmith. He was charged with attempted murder after off-duty police Sergeant Isaac Harrington was shot back in 2019. Investigators say that was an attempted robbery. Triple C was as organized and savvy as they are violent and relentless. The U.S. attorney said the gang operated for at least five years in East Baltimore neighborhoods like Darley Park. People who live here think when some alleged gang members are arrested, others are just waiting to take over. I'm afraid to walk around that corner when it gets dark. Everything I get, I get before I come to the house. There are several different charges on this indictment, but federal prosecutors are saying all of the suspects face a mandatory minimum of 10 years and a maximum of life in prison for a conspiracy to distribute a controlled substance. Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.